Hi guys, yours truly, Kevin Grace, reporting to you from Delaney Valley Memorial Garden Cemetery. I'm here to pay my respects to a female officer that was killed at age 29, just a few days before her 30th birthday. Her name, Amy Caprio. She was responding to a call on May the 21st, 2018. It was of a suspicious vehicle with uh, some subject suspects that looked like they were breaking into some homes in Parkville area, which was precinct number eight. She did encounter that vehicle. It was a black Jeep driven by Devonta Harris. She told him to get out of the vehicle. She had uh, drawn her gun. He revved the engine and wound up striking her with the vehicle. And he later was caught now the three other kids that were with him that were inside of a house burglar uh, burglarizing it a 16 year old 19 year old and a 17 year old they were charged as adults as well uh just a bad situation devonta harris shouldn't even have been out um on the streets anyway he was given two chances he was under house arrest even his mother didn't want him to be home but the uh court system you know sent him home under uh, uh you know home he was supposed to be in home confinement and a couple of times when he left out of his house the agency that surveils that didn't come back to to check because they get an alarm if your bracelet is out of a certain range so it, it was just a bad situation that shouldn't even happen but anyway he was charged as an adult and given a life sentence with a possibility of parole the other kids uh, as well they were charged as adults and they did a plea deal and they were sentenced to life in prison with all but 30 years um, in prison they were sentenced to life but uh, it's just a bad situation but anyway she is buried right here right in front of the fallen heroes memorial sign if you come out and pay your respects she is a graduate of Towson University the same university that I attended The system failed. It's something a lot of people are saying, including the mother of the 16-year-old accused of running over and killing Officer Amy Caprio. I really am truly sorry for this. If I could have just found my son, she would still be here and my son would be here with me. Her son, Donta Harris, is accused of stealing four cars and was in and out of community detention centers. While wearing a non-GPS-enabled ankle bracelet, he went AWOL. Until the day Baltimore County Police say he ran over Caprio in his stolen Jeep. It's left people looking for someone to blame for these mother's tears and the loss of an officer. Everything changed. His life, my life, the officer life in a split second. And it's just now I feel terrible. The day after Caprio was killed, Sam Abed, the Secretary of Juvenile Services, pointed the finger at Baltimore City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby. Which is why I am more than appalled, disheartened, and perplexed by the Secretary of the Department of Juvenile Services' attempt to shift responsibility away from his department by blaming my office and my attorneys for the release of an alleged murderer. Continuing to say the juvenile justice system is broken. Which provides a recurring door for troubled youth to graduate to more severe crimes without the opportunity for appropriate rehabilitation and care. Then 16-year-old Dante Harris questioned for hours after Baltimore County Police Officer Amy Caprio was hit and killed with a stolen Jeep in a Perry Hall neighborhood. Officer Caprio was responding to reports of burglaries in the area. You don't have a clue why you're down here. Not at all. At first, Harris denies ever being in a Jeep. You were driving a Jeep. I'm not even going to debate it with you. It's clear. It's pretty, pretty simple when we have uh, multiple people given independent 
stories that are all the same. Eyewitness statements and physical evidence. But you were using Ralph's phone? Where does the key come from? It's a Jeep key. A Jeep key falling from the lead detective's chair during the interrogation. When Harris was alone in the room, he's seen messing with the chair, hiding something. Another key piece of evidence, body camera footage from Officer Caprio. Stop! Stop! Yes, I did open the door. All right, and then what happened? Um, I was just too scared. Scared, because he says his friends were taking things from random homes in the area. Stop! So when he saw Stop! the police car, he just wanted to get away. I started pulling a gun towards the car. Okay. And that's when I had put my eyes, put my head down, closed my eyes. No, I didn't even know I hit him. A community says goodbye to a young Baltimore County police officer. Thousands of people attended the funeral of Officer Amy Caprio. She was killed Monday afternoon when she responded to a call for suspicious activity in a Perry Hall neighborhood. A procession carried her body to her final resting place, Delaney Valley Memorial Gardens. First responders and strangers lined the route as the procession went from 95 to 695 to 83 North. Bagpipes played Friday morning as officers carried the casket of one of their own. Fallen officer Amy Caprio. The 29 year old died in the line of duty Monday afternoon after serving for nearly four years. A tragic loss not limited by Baltimore County lines. I mean, it's terrible. And we all work together, so we're a police family, so this hurts us all. A sea of uniforms in all different colors poured into Mountain Christian Church, united in grief and by a thin blue line across their badges, sending a silent message to the family of Officer Caprio. I think they need to feel supported in this time of need. You know, it's definitely, you know, a family throughout everybody with a badge and those without strangers people who never met the young officer like Martha Patrick who came from Forest Hill these are very special bears to bring a small piece of comfort to those who need it most and send the message she can't deliver herself I just my heart goes out to you so new at 11, Baltimore County police officer Amy Caprio, killed in the line of duty three years ago, is honored with the Congressional Badge of Bravery. At a virtual ceremony, Senators Ben Cardin and Chris Van Hollen and Congressman Andy Harris joined Friday to present her parents with the award. Officer Caprio was killed after she responded to a call for a suspicious vehicle in Parkville. That year, she was nominated for the award, which honors federal, state, local, and tribal officers who demonstrate exceptional acts of bravery in the line of duty, risking serious injury or death.